rhabdomyolysis. According to Wikipedia and numerous other sources, Caternism is an illness featuring muscle tenderness and rhabdomyolysis. Rhabdomyolysis is a serious syndrome caused by a direct or indirect muscle injury. Now the results of this include the death of muscle fiber and the release of toxins into the bloodstream. This can lead to kidney failure. Now kidney failure or renal failure is bad. Bad in the sense that your kidneys basically shut down and you'll no longer be able to process waste. And this could leave you in need of kidney dialysis. The symptoms also include convulsions and vertigo. This has been known to happen after consuming quail, the common quail, or European quail, Caternix caternix, during its migratory season. Side note, rhabdomyolysis also affected people who survived being crushed by buildings after being bombed in London in World War II. All bad. Everything that I mentioned in that last paragraph is bad. All of it. So how does it happen and how can I avoid it? These are the questions that you're probably asking yourself and we're gonna talk about that today right here on New York Attorneys. Thanks for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. My name is Kenny, as most of you already know. And for those of you who don't, welcome to the channel. This is New York Eternix, your source for everything quail and game bird related. Before we begin, I'd like to thank all of you guys for the support so far. You have been hella awesome and it's a great motivator. If you're new here and haven't already subscribed, please do so by hitting the subscribe button down below and also hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever we do leave new content on the channel. Also, if you're on Facebook, which I know most of you are, we do have a group on Facebook. The address is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash N-Y-C-O-T-U-R-N-I-X. The link will be down below in the description. We're also on Instagram and Twitter. Follow the links below to join us on those networks. So back to caternism. Now again, caternism is defined as an illness featuring muscle tenderness and rhabdomyolysis after consuming quail that is fed on poisonous plants. This is the word for word definition as per Wikipedia. Feeding on poisonous plants during migration is the common school of thought as to why these birds became poisonous in the first place. There is a bit of debate, however, as to what plants may have caused this. The most widely believed culprit will be the seeds of the hemlock plant. Now, hellebore or the annual yellow woundwort have also been thought to be the origin of the poison ingested by the quail. Now, in either case, this would only happen during the common quail's migratory season, and these quail are never poisonous during any other time of the year. Now, this doesn't mean that all or most of them were. Now, this also doesn't mean that all or most of other type of quail are poisonous either. Let's take a step back on that one. We're only talking about the European Caternix, Caternix Caternix, or the common Caternix. And these birds have been the only birds known to cause this particular ailment. Now, there are three flyways or migration routes that these common quail have been known to follow since record keeping started in the 20th century. There's an eastern route, a western route, and a central route. And each of these routes have been known to have their own poisonous characteristics. This is why hemlock had been debated as being the only source for the illness. Hemlock is an in seed in spring when the birds had take the western route back up happened to be toxic, so hemlock couldn't be the source of their toxicity. Now the western route for these birds across Algeria to France had been associated with the springtime poisonings, but not the autumn poisonings. The eastern route, which goes along the Nile Valley, the exact opposite. These poisonings were only reported during the autumn migration when the quail were crossing the Mediterranean, go figure. The central route, which goes across Italy, had reported and has been reporting no poisonings. So there's a case history from the African Journal of Emergency Medicine, and that goes on to tell the story of a 58-year-old man who was admitted to the emergency room. His symptoms included weakness, muscle pain, nausea, vomiting, 
darkened urine, the whole nine yards. It was horrible for this guy. Now all of this started happening about 12 hours before he came in and the only cause of the rhabdomyolysis that they could come up with was the fact that he had ingested the quail about four hours before coming in. Turns out he was diagnosed properly, they treated him properly, and they were able to get him out of there in a couple of days. Now keep in mind that the European quail, or the common quail, Paternix Paternix, is the only quail that we know of that's guilty of spreading this illness. And of course, scientific research has suggested that a person is more likely to get sick if he or she has a specific gene mutation. It is a thought that people must be genetically susceptible to the conine in quail in order to become sick in the first place. So there are a few other known causes for rhabdomyolysis other than paternism. Uh, that would include things like bacterial infections, illegal drug use, and even muscle strain, believe it or not. As long as rhabdomyolysis is treated properly and promptly, it usually has a good outcome, according to WebMD. Paternism has been around for a very long time, definitely has a history. Now, in the Bible, if you check out Numbers, chapter 11, verses 31 through 34, it goes on to tell the story of the Israelites who became sick after eating a huge amount of quail in Sinai. Now, I'm not going to try to go into any sort of attempted detail, but Philo of Alexandria does give a very detailed account of this very same story, and that would be in the Special Laws, chapter 4, 120 through 131. Now that epidemic was described as a plague, but a historical retrospect points at, you guessed it, Caternism. Now aside from the Bible, a lot of early writers did make mention of the quail being an example of a beast that could ingest something that could kill a man, but not be harmful to it. And on that list you have folks like Aristotle, Philo, Sextus Empiricus, uh, who else? Lucretius. They all wrote about this, and that was aside from the writings in the Bible, uh, all describing paternism in some detail. Now, if anything that you take from this video, let it be the fact that paternism is rare, but it's still discovered out there once in a while. And that's usually only amongst hunters. Now, if it's taken care of quickly, you'll make a full recovery, no problem. Now, paternism has proven to be deadly, but it doesn't have to be. Just take caution when you're eating migratory birds from a certain part of the world at a certain time of the year, people. Now, because of the fact that we're farming so many quail these days and the migrations have become smaller and conservation efforts have become larger, it's most likely that paternism will be completely eliminated before we even come to a full understanding of what exactly it is. As a side note, caternism is an anagram for micro nuts. You're welcome. Thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those below. Also, leave a like for the video and please subscribe to the channel for more. Hit that notification bell so you're notified anytime we do leave new content on the channel. And once again, there is a link for the Facebook group down below in the description. Make sure you come and join. Mm -hmm.